Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back with a collective haul to share with you. So some of these are things that I picked up and then some are some of them are things that have been sent my way. So yeah, I just wanted to share them all with you. Um, I'm gonna jump right in. I'm gonna start with the things that I purchased. So, uh, so the first thing here is this. I finally got my Misty or Absolutely Blooming. Um, I, this is my favorite version of Miss Dior in the, from the ones that they've released, like, I don't know, in the teen years, these, this one has been my favorite. Um, I just love this one. I think it's really beautiful. I think it, to me, this one smells more like the original Miss Dior's that were released way back in the mid 2000s. This resembles those fragrances, I think the most. And I think that that's why I love this one so much. So I finally am getting on the, like my brain is finally engaging and realizing that these fragrances are going to become difficult to find and very expensive. So that I better start picking them up now while I can. Um, and yeah, I found this for a great deal on Mercari and I love this one. It's such a beautiful, sweet floral. It's uh, much more complex smelling than like the original Miss Dior or really than any of the others. And it's beautiful. And if I remember correctly, I tested this some years back. Um, if I remember co correctly, this one performs really, really well in comparison to all the others. So, so anyways, that is Dior, Miss Dior, absolutely blooming. Super excited to have finally uh, gotten a bottle of that for my collection. Okay, and then the next ones that I bought, I picked these up from Sephora. These are all 10 mil uh, travel sprays of Derek Lamb fragrances. So in no particular order, I'll just go through these. This is the first one I picked up. This one is called Drunk on Youth. Um, these were really, really inexpensive. They're on sale at Sephora right now for $12.50, so very inexpensive. Um, this one, um, yeah, I'm trying to remember. I don't, I don't believe I loved how this, uh, yeah, I don't, I didn't really, I didn't really love how this ended, what this ended up smelling like on my skin. It smells better out of the bottle than it does. Yeah, so this fragrance is supposed to, it's just two notes. It's apple and honeysuckle, but something about how those notes, like, I don't know, smell together, it's, it's not good. It ends up smelling really, really strange. <laughs> like not fruity, not floral, somewhere in between and really, really weird. Um, yeah, I did not like how this one performed on my skin at all. So yeah, this one will probably be going somewhere. I might hang on to it and maybe test it in the spring, but um, yeah, I was not crazy about that one. Okay, the next one I picked up is this one here. This is called 2AM Kiss, and this one also, this one was also really strange. I do love the dark red bottle. I think it's really pretty. So this one is supposed to be caramel, woody notes, and amber. And I do like it. I like it on paper a lot more than I liked it on my skin. This is one that I need to, um, I need to play with. I need to give it a really good full wear test. I did only spray it on my arm and um, it lasted a good long time on my arm when I did spray it. It ended up kind of smelling, I don't know, it kind of ended up reminding me of like a musty, dusty, like antique shop or something. And it was like I kind of loved it, but then I kind of, kind of didn't. Like, I don't know. This was one of those weird ones where I couldn't really decide if I really liked it or if I really didn't like it. I don't know, I think there's something about about it that I really like though. So anyways, yeah, I'm gonna hang on to this one. I'm gonna keep playing with it um, and we'll see. So that is uh, Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby, 2 AM Kiss. Um, it's a weird one. I wouldn't, definitely not safe. And then this third one was absolutely the winner of the bunch. This is uh, Silent Street. This one I'm gonna go ahead and throw away the little plastic tube because I know I will be keeping this guy 
Um, so yeah, this is in the white bottle and this is called Silent Street. I'm sorry, I should have been holding them up to you the whole time so you could see. But yeah, that one is Silent Street. And this one is beautiful. This is just clean. This is just white musk and flowers. And it, it just smells like a super clean, slightly powdery, light floral. It's just like a clean musky floral, but more powdery than musky. I loved it. And this one lasted on my, well, I only tested on my skin, but it did last on my skin for quite a while. Um, I mean, I only tested on my arm for just, I just gave it a quick spray. I haven't given this one a really good wear test yet, um, but I have a feeling this one's going to do pretty well. But yeah, it's just beautiful. It's light. It's clean. It's very slightly sweet. It's a powdery floral with a, like a ton of musk in it really really beautiful so this was definitely the winner of the three um that is silent street i really love this one and i think it's pretty safe too if you like clean smelling fragrances um i think that one would be pretty safe to buy so anyways that is Derek lamb 10 crosby silent street okay and then i'm gonna get into some things that were sent over to me um i it's it's always hard for me to convey my gratitude for those of you, well, for all of you, all the time, um, but to convey my gratitude for the people who go out of their way and send me things, um, it's just, I don't know, it's really hard for me to express just how grateful I am. So I think I had mentioned in one of my past videos, like one of my recent past videos, that I did not realize that Alaya made a fragrance called Alaya Nude. I knew about the original Alaya in the black bottle and I knew about Alaya Blanche, which I do have that one as well. But somebody told me a long time ago that I should try Alaya Nude, that it was a really beautiful, very warm fragrance. And I was talking about how it's difficult to find, um, how I really wanted to try it, but it is a very, it's not the easiest fragrance in the world to find. So somebody emailed me and she said, you know, hey, I've got a full bottle of Alaya Nude. It didn't work for me. I'd be happy to send it to you um, if you want it. And I was like, that would be amazing because it's not an easy fragrance to find. So she did send this and she sent another fragrance along with it, which is just amazing. But anyways, this is the Alaya Nude. And I knew as soon as I pulled this out and sprayed it that I was going to absolutely love it. Um, this is a tester bottle as well. So is it a tester? Yes, this is a tester bottle as well. So I was so happy to see that too. Oh my gosh, this is such a stunning, warm sandalwood fragrance. It's got coconut in it, but once you spray it on your skin, the coconut hangs around for maybe the first mm, 10 minutes or so. And then it dries down into the most beautiful, soft, warm sandalwood fragrance. It is stunning. This could almost kick Girl on Sam Samsara out of the top spot for a sandalwood fragrance for me, just because there is something so cozy and warm. I don't know. This one, it was like magic with my skin too. Um, it was just one of those fragrances that it was like love at first sniff, love at first wear. It's just an incredible fragrance. So thank you so much the person that sent this over to me. It does have a good home with me. Um, I adore it and we get along really well. <laughs> so yeah, that is a Lion Nude. It's just such a beautiful, warm sandalwood and coconut fragrance. It's stunning. So, and you don't hear people talk about this one very much because I don't think that a lot of us knew that it existed. So, anyways, that is Alaya Nude. And then she also, I cannot believe my eyes when I pulled this out of the box. Um, she sent this one here. This is by Killian. And this box is so stunning. 
Um, this is a fragrance called Sacred Wood. This was another one, I mean the bottle. I love that the writing is in red. And this is another one that was absolutely love at first sniff. Um, oh my gosh. Sacred Wood is absolutely a perfect name for it. It smells like Sacred Wood. I mean, it smells like something that would be used in some kind of a religious ceremony. It's like fresh, dry wood. It's soft. It's maybe the slightest bit incensey, but it is just like all about the very realistic smelling, very fragrant dry wood. It's stunning. I mean, it's as if somebody just like went in, went out back and cut down a tree and milled it and like milled it by hand and then built a wooden chair or something out of the tree. And this is what the wooden chair smells like because it's fresh. It is it's so beautiful like this is a fragrance that um, I had no idea I needed this in my life until I smelled it and once I smell it I was like oh my gosh that is a fragrance that I probably never would have gone for um, but as soon as I got my nose on it I was like holy cow where have you been my whole life it's the most beautiful like wood scent I think I've ever smelled. It's so stunning. So anyways, yeah, that one is called Sacred Wood by Killian and it's just a stunner. I mean, and it came in its box like full presentation. It's just so beautiful, which I'm gonna store it like that. Okay, and then um, recently I did another kind of sample swap or decant swap with somebody and she sent me some really amazing things, some things that I think some of you will be really interested in, especially my indie lovers. Um, she sent some gorgeous things. So she sent, um, this is not the, ac the exact sample that she sent, but it's the same. She did send me a sample of this. Um, I'm gonna send the one that she sent me, I'm gonna send it along to another perfume friend because I've got two samples and I really want her to smell one too. Um, but this is Shalimar. This is the one that is at the end. It's Shalimar MVP. It's the new vanilla Pantifolia one. Um, I don't want to butcher it, so we'll just leave it at that. But yeah, I love this. Um, it's funny because somebody else sent me a sample of it, and I hadn't tested it yet. And then when she sent the sample over, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to test this. So I test, I finally gave it a good test and it is stunning. So I was like, I need to send this, um, I've got two samples now, I need to send one on and share the love. But yeah, that is the new Shalimar um, Vanille or Vanilla Pantifolia, if I'm remembering correctly. Such a beautiful, if you love Shalimar, I think you'll love it. Thing about Shalimar and all of its flankers are, it's just like Alien and all of its flankers. They all smell like the pillar, um, every single one of them. They all have that Shalimar DNA that, you know, it's just there, So, which I love. The only Shalimar I don't get along with is the original Eau de Parfum. Um, every other Shalimar I love and I can wear. So this one was no different. It is beautiful. Um, it is heavier on the vanilla than some of the others, but I have other Shalimar flankers that are also heavy on the vanilla. So I don't think it's anything super unique as far as a Shalimar goes. So anyway, she sent that one. Um, she sent this one here. This is called, I have no idea what house this is from, but it is called Carmen. Yeah, it's got this cute little packaging. Um, it's called Carmen. And it smells beautiful. Uh, I did spray this one on my hand and it's stunning. I am going to figure out where or what house this is and where it's from and look it up and figure out all the details about it. It's beautiful, which I of course will do before I post this. I will of course have the house and who makes it and everything on the screen for you. This one here, it, this is from Unui Nomad and this is called Nothing But Sea and Sky. So I'm really excited to try this one. I have not tested it. Um, 
In fact, let me go ahead and yeah, nothing but sea and sky. Let me go ahead and give this a little spray. That's really pretty. It's very, it's beautiful. I can, I'm getting some citruses in the top. Yeah, it's kind of, it reminds me of like a molecule style fragrance. It's very light and it's got, yeah, I'm quite sure this is a molecule fragrance. It's pretty. I really like that one. Okay. Um, she sent this one too. This is from Bastille. This is Un, Un du Toi Soleil. <laughs> um, Un du Toi Soleil from Bastille. This is another one I have not even sprayed yet. Oh gosh, that's, that's like right up my alley. That's beautiful. That is, that's like citrus. I think I, I'm getting some almond. Ugh, I love it. I'm pretty sure it's citrus and almond or citrus and heliotrope. Sometimes it's hard for my nose to tell the difference between almond and heliotrope depending on how it's used. Yeah, that might, it might actually be heliotrope and not almond. Like a citrus and heliotrope fragrance, it's gorgeous. Or it could be citrus and almonds. <laughs> it's beautiful though, very light. Yeah, I'm getting some kind of a spice. It's almost like a, oh wow, it's stunning. It's almost like a citrus and cinnamon and heliotrope. Ooh, this is one that I'm gonna have to give this one a good wear test on my skin. I'll probably end up using the whole sample with one wear test because I overspray like crazy. But that one I'm super, super interested in. It smells incredible. And then she sent a whole bunch of samples from a little indie house called Alpha Musk. And these, they're so fun. Um, this first one is called Hopeless Romantic. And I don't know if I'll be able to get my camera to focus on them very well, but yeah. So that one is called Hopeless Romantic. Really cute. Um, I have tested, I haven't tested any of the ones in these little tiny vials. So I'll test as many as I can as we go. I have tested the three bigger ones that she sent. Oh, wow. That one is, oh, that's some kind of a melon. Yeah, I'm quite sure that's some kind of a melon. That one is so beautiful. That would be such a stunning summer fragrance. It smells like a sweet, fresh melon. That's gorgeous. I'm going to have to check that one out. Oh my gosh. I'm sure you could probably get it in the size of a rollerball, which I would love. I would love. There's something about how it's warming up with my skin too. Oh my gosh. It is like a beautiful, sweet, warm melon. Oh wow. I love that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, this next one is called Spun. And let's see, we're gonna see how many of these I can get on me before I'm not able to smell. And these are oils too. These little tiny vials are oils, which I think if, I ha if I'm using a vial this small, I would much rather it be an oil sample because you can actually um, get a good idea of how it smells. Vials this small that have, that are perfume, like alcohol-based perfume, I have the hardest time being able to smell them at all. Oh my gosh, okay. That smells like cotton candy. <laughs> that smells like straight up sugary, light cotton candy. 
Oh my gosh, I am like obsessed with this one called Hopeless Romantic. I'm obsessed with it. I keep smelling it and it is amazing. This one is so good. This smells like, it smells like pink sugar, but if pink sugar were cotton candy and not, didn't have that burnt caramel note in it, it smells like straight up cotton candy, to be honest. So that one is called Spun. That is stunning. Okay, this next one is called Resonate. I'm excited. I'm expecting some kind of a resinous fragrance. So that one is called Resonate. It smells like Nag Champa to me. It smells like a, it smells like an incense stick, like a really beautiful, good quality incense stick. Oh my gosh, if you want to smell like the ultimate hippie shop, super good quality. It's got a really beautiful softness and sweetness to it. So it's not like too in your face. It's gorgeous. That one is stunning. I'm like in love with every one that I've tried so far. So that one is called Resonate. So this is the first time that I'm um, actually testing these little vials on my skin. That one is so good. Okay, this next one. Oh my gosh, I was like so excited when I saw this. I'm dying to <laughs> try this one. This one is called Salted Caramel Cacao Berries. I'm so excited to just get on this website and look at stuff and I'm so excited to go on and grab all the notes and things. When I'm editing, I'm gonna have, I just know I'm gonna have the best time. Okay, salted caramel, cacao, and berries. Oh, I can smell this one just from the little vial. Oh, wow. That smells amazing. It smells like, um, yeah, it smells like a really beautiful, um, like fall fragrance from any indie house out there. Solstice Scents, Sucre Bay, um, Coco Pink, any of those houses out there, they all make something that smells like this. It just smells yummy and decadent and indie and this one's really strong though and you can smell everything in it. You can smell the salt, you can smell the caramel, you can smell the cacao. The berries are really, really mild. You definitely don't get much berry but the salted caramel cacao part is like spot on. That is yummy. That is like the ultimate like decadent uh, indie fragrance. It's so good. So anyways, that one is called salted cacao caramel and car sorry, salted caramel cacao and berries. There's another house that I picked up um, a bunch of samples from at one point. I can't remember which house it was now. But this smells like something from um, them. Like, all indie houses have a fragrance that smells like this. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I'm going to have to get on to the other hand now. Um, okay, next we have, this is another one I've been dying to get my nose on. This one is called Lilac Cacao. I love doing sample swaps with this person because she always sends like the most interesting um like fragrances and houses that i've never even heard of i had never even heard of alpha musk she's like a sample queen too she um she's always sampling things okay oh my gosh that is gorgeous. That is, it's like this beautiful clean lilac, but with a powdery, like dark chocolate note. And it is married together perfectly. That is beautiful. It's like the most beautiful clean lilac, but with this kind of gourmand edge with this powdery dark chocolate note. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. That is one of my favorites. They're all favorites though. Ah, 
That one is so good. This would be such a beautiful springtime scent. And if you're one of those people like me who, even in the spring and summer, you're wanting fresh fragrances that still smell cozy, I'm a weirdo like that. I always want to smell cozy no matter what season it is, even if it's 98 degrees out and like burning hot outside, I still want to smell cozy. This is like the perfect thing for that because it's fresh and beautiful. It's lilacs, but it's got this cozy edge. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So that one is called Lilac Cacao. I'm kind of obsessed with that. Um, this is why I love indie houses. They make things that you're just not gonna smell anywhere else. Okay, this next one is called Rip Roar. So Rip Roar, let's see what this guy smells like. I just had a perfume disaster. Um, like right before I started filming, I broke uh, my bottle of Nina Ricci Rose Lux Days Absolute and like broke it like a quarter of the bottle on the floor. And then I had to do my best to get the rest into other containers that I had. So I feel like I, I've got it in my nose and that's all I'm able to smell, but I no, I can smell everything else, but I'm scared that it's going to like interfere with what I'm what I'm smelling, this is beautiful. This is, um, this is like a light, clean, woody fragrance, and I'm getting some citruses in the top. Oh, wow, that, I'm obsessed with that lilac cacao. I mean, obsessed. Yeah, this is like a, it's like a light, clean, slightly woody fragrance with some citruses in the top. It is unremarkable next to the lilac one and some of these others. Oh, that spun is so good. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with the lilac one. Okay. Next, I'm super excited to try this one too. This one's called Rad. Very 80s. It's called Rad, and it's got a cute little Converse shoe on there. So, oh, wow. Okay, Rad smells like candy to me. It smells like straight up candy, or if you guys know um, the scent Rockstar from Lush, this smells almost identical to Rockstar from Lush. Yeah, almost identical to Rockstar from Lush. That one smells amazing. I love Rockstar from Lush, so that's a good one. And then next we've got uh, this one here called Sabotage. This is the last little tiny vial. It's called Sabotage. And these little vials, like if you get on their website and get these little vials, I mean, there is plenty of oil in there for probably four or five really good wares. Ooh, Sabotage is, that is like, it, all, it almost smells green. It smells green and woody. Like a woody green fragrance. It's good, but I'm like, I'm obsessed with the Lilac Cacao, the Hopeless Romantic, Spun, yeah, I think my favorites are the Lilac Cacao, Hopeless Romantic, and Spun. Those are my favorite. The Lilac Cacao is number one though. That is my absolute favorite. Okay, and then she sent three bigger roller balls. Um, this one is called Blue Cotton Candy. I have tested all of these bigger ones and they're all amazing. This one in particular is so good. If you're into sweet, sugary fragrances, I think you would really like this one. Um, it really is like, yeah, it really does smell like, like a bright, slightly fruity cotton candy. I've got, <laughs> I've got the Nina Ricci Rose all over my sweater, so it is, at this point, now that I'm getting further up my arm, it is getting, it is interfering. Oh yeah, it's definitely interfering. Um, let me put this on. 
yeah, there we go. I just rolled it on a little, there we go. Rolled it on a tester, cause yeah. It is beautiful. It's got, this has got some kind of a fruity or citrus or maybe both note in it. It's a really gorgeous, not too sweet cotton candy fragrance. It's so good. I loved it. When I tested this one on my skin, I was in love with it. Um, and then this one too, this is called Take My Vice and Sanity. Um, and this one, yeah, I really liked this one too. This is another one that I actually, I can't like pick out what exactly this is, but it's something yummy and sugary. But it dry, when it dries down, this, a lot of the sweetness goes away. And so you're left with this, I don't know, this really beautiful kind of clean, scent. I don't know. I will of course have all of the notes on the screen for you. This was one, once it dried down on my skin, I couldn't really figure out what I was smelling. Um, so that one is called Take My Vice Insanity. It's beautiful. Oh gosh. And then this one, this, I loved this one too. This is called Cotton Pop and oh, this is so good. This again, this is like a sugary, Oh, it's like sugary sweet. It smells like candy. Oh my gosh. There's something about this one. It's got like a slight bit of creaminess to it. Of the three big ones, this was my favorite. I was in love with this, but I was like in love with all of these. <laughs> yeah, this one smells like, I don't know. It smells like a slightly creamy candy. It's so good. It reminds me of something in particular, like some kind of a candy cane that I've smelled before or, or almost like a butterscotch. I'm almost getting like a slight, really light butterscotch vibe from this. I don't know, I'm obsessed with this one. I'm absolutely obsessed with this one called Cotton Pop. Um, it is right up my alley. I love sweet candy-like fragrances. So yeah, that one is called Cotton Pop. And that is gonna be it, guys. That is um, just a quick little collective haul for you. I do, I have a fragrance scent order coming and I do have a couple other um, fragrances coming as well that I'll include with that, but that'll be another haul coming um, probably within the next week or so. But yeah, I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.